Hello students, welcome back to Catalyst Chemistry Classes. This is an online learning platform for CSR NET, GATE and PGTRB exams. In this case, we have classes, one of the students has a doubt about the question. And the questions can answers in the video. That's why we will discuss detailed solution in the videos. Okay? So, this question from Agnometallic Chemistry. Part 1. Okay. So, in our classes, we will discuss the first part of Agnometallic Chemistry. This is the first part of the first part of Agnometallic Chemistry. So, see here, the question is, how many metal to metal bonds and terminal carbonyls are present in the particular carbonyl cluster? Okay. In the given cluster, we have Rhodium 6, CO16, and we have a metal cluster. In this cluster, we have to calculate the metal to metal metal bond. At the same time, we have to find out the terminal carbonyls. Okay, so this is the answers to this question. Okay, so already in our classes, we have two books of metallic chemistry. We have two books of reference books, Ajay Kumar. And the second book is B.D. Gupta. So, if you read these books, you can read these books. Definitely, these questions are easy to answer. So, see here, first we have to find out the metal metal bond. Then, how do you find out the questions? Then, how do you find out the metal metal bond? Then, how do you find out the metal metal bond? Then, how do you find out the metal? First, we have to uh, write the formula for metal-metal bond calculation. Okay, so metal-to-metal -metal bond calculation. So, we know very well the formula is 18 into N minus total valence electron count divided by 2. Okay, so where N is the number of metal present in the cluster, total valence electron count is the total valence electron count. Okay, so the given clusters, there are uh, 6 rhodium metals are present here. So, the N value, okay, so here N equal to Next, we have to find out the total valence electron count. So, total valence electron count is 9. So, number of rhodiums is 6. Next, plus 6 into 1 is 2. So, plus CO, carbonyl ligand, it is a 2 electron donor and 2. There are 16 carbonyl ligands are there. So, first thing we add to 9, 6 are 54 plus 32. 16 is 32. मतलब ये आठ पॉइंट अपड़ी ना, we get 86. Okay, so total valence electron count वो तो हम लोग का 86 कर चल गए. So now हम लोग के तरंज वैल्यूज हैं इन द फॉर्मूला ला सब्सट्रैक्ट पन्ना. So metal to metal bond calculation से गोल्टो 18 into number of metals उन्हें 6 minus 86 divided by 2. So we get 108. Okay, 108 minus 86 divided by 2. So, if we solve it, what we get means we get 22 divided by 2. Okay, so we get 11. So, actually, we have 11 metal to metal bond. Okay, now see here. In the options, we have to first have metal metal bonds. And we have to have terminal carbonyls. So, we have to have options A, B, C, D. There is no option with the 11 metal metal bond. Okay, wow. So, we have to have the answers on the top. Yes, it's wrong only. Okay, so in the method, there is an exception case. That's why this question is a tricky question. Okay, usually we have to have the calculation used by this. But experimentally, the calculation method is 11 metal metal bond. But originally, in the compound, it can show the 12 metal metal bonds. Okay. So, it is 12 metal. Uh, metal to metal bonds are present okay it is a original compound Seringla. so upon our options la na, a and c both have a six here and the six in that eight is okay definitely options a and c when they it's wrong either number of answer b or clam illa d or clam okay so if number of terminal carbonyls so other good you know you know in the reference books Okay, reference book நீங்கள் complete refer பண்ணிருந்தீர்கள் அப்படினா, உங்களால் இந்த questions easy answer பண்ணம் முடியோம். இன்ன terminal carbonyl answer நம்மலால் direct எந்த ஒரு calculation use பண்ணி நம்மலால் calculate பண்ணம் முடியாது இதை நம்மலுக்கு ஒரு IR region இது மறி குடுத்துது நாம் நம்மலால் easy find out பண்ணம் முடியும் already நம்ம stretching frequency பத்தி நம்ம detail discuss பண்ணிருக்கும் and in the structure element you can draw and you can draw your notes and you can draw the main reason ok now see here I am going to draw the structure so there are 6 rhodiums are present in the cluster ok they can form the octahedral complex ok octahedral core they will create so 1 2 3 and 4 ok then so there are 4 metal metal bond 
next five six seven eight okay next here it's going to write uh, nine and ten eleven and twelve okay so we will draw pani kaate irukka so there are 12 metal to metal bonds irundhu irukku ipo carbonyls paathinga appadina how many terminal carbonyls appdin paathinga appadina see here each rhodium has a two terminal carbonyl ligands okay two terminal carbonyl ligands okay next sir they have a four bridging and sometimes questions only up in kekla so you should know about the four bridging carbonyls one and two and this is three i think this is four okay so it is going to be an isomeric structure so it is going to be an isomeric structure i will send uh, that material in our group whatsapp group now will send panda okay so it has a uh, so up over thing of dinner 12 metal to metal bond the cluster contains next one pathinga appadina how many uh, terminal carbonyls so terminal carbonyls are it is 12 right then bridged one pathinga appadina bridged carbonyls are it is 4 okay so totally 4 plus uh, 12 it is 16 16 carbonyl so that our correct answer see here in this question option b okay so 12 metal metal bonds and 12 terminal carbonyls so option b is the correct answer okay so thank you so much students uh, if you have any uh, questions any doubts means uh, please text me indha maadhiriyana ungalku edavadhu difficult ana questions irundhuchu appadina nammala whatsapp group la enak inform pannunga or ennoda number ku individually neenga send pannunga um na adha vandu common ah discuss pannum bodhu nammaloda ella students ku adhu helpful ah irukum okay so thank you so much students maybe um csr exams kana notification within one month ku la namakku varalam definitely july month la we have a exam so prepare well uh, regular ah vandu padinga test series ah proper ah eludunga all the very best guys if you have any doubt means please text me and if you like my classes please like share and subscribe to catalyst chemistry classes thank you